So, so you know, it's been obviously a very long journey for you. Uh, does it feel like a homecoming when you returned uh, back into the seat of the Prime Minister? It was pretty normal. It was like just another day after that day in May 99. I walked out here in May 99. It was just like walking back, new faces perhaps, uh, but the work is the same, same uh, dynamics, of getting to know the people, getting to know what they're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do for them, what they're supposed to do for you and with you. So. Uh, we met uh, last time uh, at your place as well. Uh, do you have any plans to uh, sort of relocate to the official residence of the It's not my plan. It is uh, the normal thing for uh, uh, the Prime Minister to move into official quarters. I'm waiting for uh, Public Service Commission. Normally there's a quarters allocation in uh, association with uh, uh, Lens Department who look after the, the actual quarters. So. Uh, We'll give the occupants uh, time to uh, uh, relocate. Mine, uh, my moving out of uh, official quarters in '99 was very, very quick because I was prepared uh, either way to win and continue uh, or to lose and move out. And we lost, and I moved out one night. So just uh, with regards to uh, some allegations that were made prior to the elections here, uh, you would remember that uh, there were certain political opponents of yours who made claims that if your party was elected into power, there would be instability in the country. But we have not seen anything of that sort happening. Can we just get your comments on those claims that were made, sir? I would like to uh, thank the people. It shows the maturity of the people, the responsibility that they have shown uh, and the, uh, the care and the love they have for one another. Uh, we have tried to, uh, to create an atmosphere of peace. We've spoken to our, our uh, supporters uh, and uh, asked them, if there's any instability, let us not be the instigators. Let us, uh, our policy, we have broadcast the uh, concept of, the, of love. Uh, which conquers all, and I've asked all the members of my party and the coalition now to uh, observe that. It is uh, initially hard, but once you take it on as part of your own character, it works. So you, you would uh, remember prior to the announcement of the results, uh, the coalition parties, uh, which uh, was the People's Alliance, National Federation Party, Unity PG and Fiji Labour Party, had uh, also called for a national petition uh, to be signed, especially uh, grievances that the people, the public had with regards to their voting and electoral process. Is that something that you are it's going ongoing. to It's ongoing, ongoing. Yes. It's ongoing, we would like to uh, continue that. Uh, because we believed, when we raised concern, we believed that there could have been some uh, deliberate uh, faults. So are you going to be investigating the Fijian Elections Office in that regard? When it comes, when the results, when the data is available and scientific as well as uh, physical evidence shown, we will, we will continue that, yes. So your government has also been... There's no time limit to fraud, eh? the investigation of uh, electoral fraud. Whereas uh, uh, disputed return, you have a, a window of only 21 days or 31 days. So just your government has also been very firm about uh, returning media, their freedom back. But you have to understand that over the past 16 years, there have been a lot of organizations who were still... You know, cannot publish things uh, in fear of uh, what is going to happen. And that mindset has uh, trickled in into the younger generation of uh, journalists who are there as well. Can you provide any assurance to the media companies that you will be looking into either replacing or removing MIDA altogether or amending some of the more draconian laws that are in there? And uh, if there's any advice that you'd like to pass along, any message you'd like to pass along to the journalists who are doing their work in Fiji? I would like to encourage the journalists to be good journalists. And a good journalist will always be fair and uh, balanced in their reporting uh, and allow for the right of reply all the time. In the past, we tried to en even enforce it. So if you say something on, the f on your front page against the government, you must give the government on the front page the same size letters, the same headlines, so that you, you fight, fight it out there rather than fight the media. 
Uh, yes, the media uh, decree will be very well looked at. Uh, I can uh, confidently say now that it will be repealed and replaced by a more friendly act. That is, you know, it's uh, that can compare with any of the media acts in the world, in the in the democratic world. So the journalists are free to do their work. They are free to do their work. If I don't like you, I'll call you something else when we meet outside. But I, here, I'm going to talk to you according to your. And I have to respect your responsibility of telling the people what's going on.